Hello, humans! This is a menu. This will allow you to decide how you want to watch this episode of Pokemon Bata. If you click the top option, you'll watch the match from my perspective with my commentary. You know, kind of like a normal video. If you click the middle option, you'll watch this same match, but it won't have any commentary and instead it'll be sped up with music. If you click the bottom option, you'll watch the match from my opponent's perspective, so you won't be watching a Bata match, you'll just be watching the match from my opponent's perspective. But, Cybertron VGC did a good job when he uploaded the match, so hopefully you guys will enjoy that. Anyway, if you don't click anything, then the match will just start playing at normal speed in a couple seconds. So, yeah, enjoy, humans! Humans, I'm Yo Schiller, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Bata! Today I am battling a competitive Pokemon player. Now, I, I normally do that, but this is a guy who competes in competitive Pokemon tournaments. This guy competes in VGC, or Video Game Championships. These are official Pokemon tournaments in which people participate in double battles and compete against trainers from all around the world, and I'm going to be battling against this guy named Cybertron. Now, my team, for those of you that don't know, are from in-game stuff. They're from in-game walkthroughs. And I use these teams in my competitive battles. Oh, you're, you're just gonna block me, are you? Can't you see that I'm trying to slide across the chairs here? Ah, yeah, 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 whatever, fine. I'll go find some other things to slide across. Yeah, he's been taking a little while to get online, so I'm just kind of running around over here. Maybe I'll go back and forth between the benches. Oh, but what was I saying? Um, this guy competes a lot. Now, I don't know too much about this guy directly. Like, I don't know what Pokemon he uses, I don't know what strategies he likes, but I am going to continue using my goofball strategies of ridiculous Pokemon and ridiculous attacks, because that is what I like to do. I am the guy who competes in Pokemon battles using a Bayleaf and wins. Now, I don't always win. My, my win-lose ratio is about 50-50. In fact, maybe it's not 50-50. I don't know the exact percentages, but I like to think that it's 50-50. And I love going into these battles with ridiculous teams and strategies because nobody sees them coming. Everyone's so used to seeing the same Pokemon and strategies over and over and over again. And my goal is to break the normal conventions. So I'm going to continue running around until my opponent shows up. And when he does show up, I will show you guys what Pokemon I plan to use against Cybertron here from BGC. Yeah, I believe he ranked third nationally. Third place nationally. That's very good. Anyway, see you guys in a bit. Uh, I'm getting kind of tired of running around. Is he online yet? Oh wait, that's him right there! <laughs> Hello sir, Cybertron VGC! That's him! Okay, so he wants a, a VGC battle, which is doubles and flat rules, meaning we each enter four Pokemon. Oh, and as a result of that, that means this will be the first Pokemon Bata match in which I will not be entering six Pokemon. I have had a match against someone else who did not enter six Pokemon, but this is the first time where I'm having less than six. Now, there are six Pokemon on my team, but I only get to enter four. So we will see each other's teams, and then from there, we have to pick four Pokemon. Now, I already have a strategy in mind. Oh, okay, I guess he's sending me the request. Okay, I already have a strategy in mind. I already know which four Pokemon I want to use. Okay, so there you go, you saw them? I'll, I'll explain them again. I have Zoroark, I have Shedinja. Did somebody just say nice to me? I'm sorry. I have Zoroark, I have Shedinja, I have Espeon, Sylveon, Jolteon, and Lucario. Alright. Uh, hang on, let's go to Music 7. Music 7 is Lysander battle theme, right? Yeah, because Music 6 is uh, Team Flare, Music 7 is Lysander battle, Music 8 is Legendary, Music 9 is Legendary, Music 10 is Late Form, Music 11 is Champion. Okay, so Music 7 I believe is Lysander battle theme, and that's what I want. Alright. Aaron Zang? I will battle you in a Pokemon VGC style match. I mean, I've done many, many single battles in my time, and I've lost plenty of those. And I've done a couple double battles, and I've lost, I think, quite a number of those too. And I've done triple battles, and I've lost every single one of those that I've done. And I've done rotational battles, and I've lost every single one of those. But maybe this will be a good luck battle for me. Hopefully things are in my favor. We'll see, we'll see. You're taking quite a while to decide on your stuff, sir. The, the sooner the better. 
the sooner you battle, the, the, the sooner this is over with, and the sooner I can edit the video, and render the video, and upload the video, and... It's, it's smaller file sizes if the video is shorter, and this will be shorter if you decide on your teams. I'm sorry, I'm not one to be impatient. I am usually quite patient. Oh, here we go. Okay. So here we go. Ooh, a Charizard, a mil- A mil tank! Yes, a mil tank! That's awesome! Uh, a Scizor, a Beta Sword, Aerodactyl, and a Rotom. A Rotom Wash, to be specific. Okay. So my strategy involves using Jolt, my Jolteon, Gilveon, my Sylveon, Yespeon, my Yespeon, and Kyra, my Lucario. I do have Zoroark and Shedinja here. I did not plan on using them. They're just kind of here in case I changed my mind, but I did not change my mind. Now the question is, he has four Pokemon that, that can Mega Evolve. And considering that this is VGC, I doubt that all four of those Pokemon are holding Mega Stones. This is a smart guy. He knows which one he's going to Mega Evolve. And so, chances are only one of those is holding a Mega Stone, while all the other Pokemon are holding some other item. So if I had to guess, I would say that the Charizard or the Venusaur would Mega Evolve. I don't think the Scizor is going to Mega Evolve. I don't think the Aerodactyl is going to Mega Evolve. I wonder what that Mill Tank's holding. I hope you're. I hope you use that Mill Tank, sir. Okay, because I know I use ridiculous strategies, and I have a Mill Tank, so I am glad that I'm not the only person that uses the Mill Tank competitively. I mean, I know Mill Tank's a fast and powerful Pokemon, but I know that a lot of people wouldn't put Mill Tank at the top of their priority lists. Oh, I might add that VGC rules state that you have to catch a Pokemon that can only be caught in the Kalos region, and Mill Tank can be caught in the Kalos region. So all of my Pokemon would would qualify for video game championships. All of his Pokemon qualify for video game championships. In other words, all the Pokemon we're using follow the rules. Okay? I figured I should clarify that. Alright, you got seven seconds, sir. Come on now. Here we go! Alright, here we go! Ha! Alright. Four on four. Now, it's a different mindset for these double battles. And... I believe this is the first double battle in the series that I am commentating as it happens. Normally, I have to commentate matches after they happen, and I have to record it off my versus recorder and commentate over those. Alright, Charizard and Aerodactyl. He's starting off with two flying types, but I gotta think that there's a reason for that. Okay, Aerodactyl's a speedy Pokemon, so if I'm gonna paralyze anything, I'm gonna go for Aerodactyl. As for the Charizard, if he does Mega Evolve, it changes R, it's gonna be Mega Charizard X. Um... I might just go for Protect. I don't exactly know what his strategy is. I don't know if that Aerodactyl is going to set up stuff or if it's going to strike me with its speedy attacks. But I'm just going to use Protect just in case. Meanwhile, I'll try to paralyze whatever I can with my Jolteon over here. I really don't know what to expect. Oh, well, he's Mega Evolving the Charizard into Mega Charizard X. So I somewhat predicted that. All right. But the question is, what's he going to do from here? Like, what is his plan with the Mega Evolution? He can't use Dragon Attacks on my Sylveon. He can definitely use Fire Attacks. Tailwind! Ah, oh, okay. Tailwind will boost the speed of all of his Pokemon for the next few turns. But if I paralyze his Aerodactyl, his speed will get, well, lowered, so to speak. So there we go. His speedy threat of a fossil has been slowed down. Oh, but his, his Charizard's using Dragon Dance, so that's troublesome for me. Especially considering that the Tailwind will still apply to his Charizard. So let's see if I can paralyze that real quickly. Hopefully he doesn't, well, hopefully there's nothing he can do about it. I don't know what else he could have entered into this battle. I mean, I know he had a Rotom, and that's a that's an electric type. So if he goes to that, then my Thunder Wave won't work. But I may, hmm. I may as well attack with Sylvie on this turn. I may as well do that. So in case he does switch out, my turn isn't a complete waste. Well, my turn is a complete waste. Okay, okay, I can't paralyze or attack it. Ah, Jolt, you dodged it. Good job. That's for Sylvie Hang in there, girl. Ah, oh, you flinched. Oh. Well, it's a good thing I'm making you hold the leftovers, huh? Alright, I, I need to paralyze that Charizard, or else it's going to sweep the rest of my team with that Dragon Dance boost. And with that Tailwind, I'm definitely not going to be faster than it. Alright, go for Protect, Sylveon, in case either of these things chooses to attack you. I'm definitely faster than that Aerodactyl, but that Charizard is what has me worrisome. Uh, there's no point in me switching, so I may as well just keep my two Evolutions here in the front. It's just, what is he going to do? I mean, he's in a pretty awkward scenario where he can't use his Aerodactyl, but his Charizard's ready to roll. But this is a double battle, I meaning if he takes down one of my Pokemon with Charizard, I can attack with my other Pokemon. It's just, what if he's attacking Jolteon? Then my Sylveon's not doing anything. I don't know. I feel like, if anything, he'd want to take down Sylveon, right? Well, no, I mean, I guess he'd want to take down Jolteon, because that's proving to be the threat right now, because I'm paralyzing all of his stuff. I don't 
really know what he wants to do. What else did he have? He had the Venusaur, he had a Scizor, he had a Rotom, he had... Oh, hi! Oh, and he had the Mill Tank! Please tell me your fourth Pokemon's Mill Tank. Well, so this turn didn't really go too well for me. I can't paralyze it. Oh, but his Aerodactyl paralyzed, so... I didn't really lose anything this turn. Kinda wished I would've attacked. But oh well, okay. Well, now that that Rotom is on the field, this really changes things up. Because I can't paralyze it, but I can lower its accuracy. As for Sylveon, let's go ahead and use Calm Mind and boost my special attack and special defense. Oh, she Hydro Pump. Ah, he missed! Excellent! <laughs> Alright, have some Sand Attack then. Go ahead and lower the foe's accuracy. Jolt! Alright, and his Aerodactyl still paralyzed. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, and Sylveon's setting up. So hopefully, hopefully things will just play out nicely and I'll win this battle. But of course, I haven't taken down any of his Pokemon yet. He hasn't taken down any of mine. I really don't know what he's planning. Maybe I have this battle on the back? I really don't want to say anything, because you never really know. Sometimes I think I have these battles won and I still lose. Let's see. Uh, let's go for Discharge. Okay, that hits everything, so Sylveon, you better protect. Okay. I mean, I know you're especially defensive, Sylveon, but I don't want to take my chances. Plus, in case, he t in case that Rotom decides to attack you, you won't get hurt. So here we go. Let's go ahead and use Discharge. This will be super effective on the Aerodactyl, and it'll do neutral damage toward the Rotom. Didn't really do a whole lot to the Rotom. Aha! I dodged it again, and the Aerodactyl's still paralyzed! That is what I'm talking about! If we can just get this for the rest of the battle, I will be a super happy man. That Aerodactyl is not going to live to the end of this battle. Here we go. Uh, I could go for Discharge again, or I... Hmm... Do I take my... No, I don't want to take my chances. I'm going to go for Protect, in case that Rotom decides to attack me. And then I will go ahead and use... Well, I guess the smart option would be to use Moonblast on this Rotom. That way I can slowly peck away at this Rotom. Because I know this Rotom here is going to be specially defensive. So if I can attack it with Sylveon, you know, I can slowly peck away at its health and eventually kill it with Jolt when I use Discharge again. So here we go. Moonblast it, Yilveon! I don't expect it to kill it. That's okay. Ooh, what is that? Is that a Citrus Berry? Of course, it's a citrus berry. All right, all right, all right, it's fine. There you go. You'll be on heal up a bit more. All right, this is going excellently. All right, so for this next turn, then, I hope to be able to use Discharge as Jolt, and then I'll go ahead and use Protect with Yilveon. Well, no, 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 I'll go for Protect. I'll go for Protect. All right, so I'll go ahead and Protect with you, and hopefully Jolt is strong enough to take both of these things down. It'll definitely take down the Aerodactyl. I don't know about the Rotom, but we will see. We will see. I don't remember how much Discharge did last time, but we'll see. Let's find out how much this does. Here we go! And... Not enough for Rotom, but it does take down Aerodactyl. Alright, goodbye Aerodactyl! Halfway done with his team. Wait, no, I'm not. That was his first Pokemon. Got it! I still have some work to do. Ah! Don't hang in there! That Rotom finally hit! Alright, that's fine. That Rotom's about to go down anyway. So he still has the Mega Charizard, and then he has his fourth Pokemon. No Bug Bite. Oh, that Scizor, that's the fourth Pokemon. Oh, that means we're not getting Miltank this battle. All right, whatever. Let's go ahead and paralyze it. As for you, you'll be on. Uh, you can probably finish up the Rotom. So here we go. Uh, yeah, you just finish it up. All right, then I'll be down to these last two. I still have all four of mine, so hopefully everything goes well. Okay, here we go. What are you planning, Mr. Cybertron, sir? What have you got? What have you got? And, okay, you're using Protect, so my Sylveon's not going to defeat you this turn. What's the Scizor doing? Well, it's not protecting, so I'm going to go ahead and paralyze it. There you go, Scizor. I hope you enjoy that, especially since you can't Mega Evolve, since your Charizard already Mega Evolved. Oh! Oh! Oh, a Lumberry, huh? Oh. Oh! Well, that's... That's unfortunate. Well, chances are he's going to bullet punch my Sylveon and kill Sylveon. Maybe I can try and paralyze it again? Because now with that sword stance, I'm even more worried. Uh, yeah, let's go for it. I mean, he could take down my Jolteon here, but just in case he goes for Sylveon, I may as well attack it. Because as of right now, that, that Scizor is the biggest threat on the field. So I gotta do as much to it as I can. That sword stance is not gonna be very nice to me. Alright. Ah, it's on Jolteon! Oh, that means I can't paralyze it. Jolteon, I'm sorry! You did an awesome job this battle, sir! Alright, that's fine. I still got three more Pokemon. Oh, Will-O-Wisp, huh? That's fine. That's fine. That's only a minor inconvenience. All right, you'll be on use Shadow Ball. Do some massive damage to the Scizor. Come on. Oh, that wasn't doing as much as I hoped it would. But Scizor can be a specially defensive foe. All right. Uh, I guess the smart option would be to go to Kyra, my Lucario. So here we go. All right. And of course, I'm going to Mega Evolve him. 
Now the question is what I do from here. Well, I gotta take care of that Rotom. So I can take care of that with extreme speed. Uh, the Scizor is probably gonna use Bullet Punch and defeat my Sylveon, so... I best protect. Alright, here we go. What's the plan for this turn? Alright, Lucario's gonna Mega Evolve. Alright, here we go. There you go, Mega Lucario! Alright, now what are you doing? Oh, Scizor is using Protect. That's fine, I wasn't gonna attack you this turn anyway. I was just gonna take down your Rotom! Alright, Sylveon's using Protect. I'm using Extreme Speed, so alright, whatever. I guess your Rotom's just going down. Finish it off, Mega Lucario! There we go! Alright, there. Now I'm halfway through your team. Now I just have to take care of your Scizor and your Mega Charizard. Easier said than done, so let's see what happens. I've got my Mega, though that Mega Charizard could easily kill me. I am a bit concerned. I do have Bone Rush! Which I know is a little bit unusual to have on a Mega Lucario, but it is an attack that I want to have on it. Alright, here we go. So if I use Bone Rush on the Mega Charizard, I might be able to take it out. And so... Hmm... I don't want to go for Protect. Let's go for Shadow Ball. See what I can do to that Scizor. Come on now. Oh, there's the Bullet Punch. You'll be on! I'm sorry! You also did an awesome job, girl! Ah! <laughs> Cute charms afflicting the Scizor. Well, it doesn't mean much now! Alright, don't worry. It's all good. I still got Espeon. Alright. No, I missed! Ah! No! Ah! He's gonna kill me! Urgh, he's been missing this whole battle! But the one time I miss, that's gonna cost me this battle! Ah! That hit! Who knows how much that would have done? That could have probably taken down his Mega Charizard had it hit enough times. Oh, all I've got is Espeon. Great! That one miss! That one miss is gonna cost me this battle! Uh <laughs> Because that Scizor is going to be super effective toward me, and if I take down the Scizor, then the Charizard will kill me. I'm more concerned about the Scizor, so I may as well attack, I may as well attack that. I could use Protect and just waste a turn, but I have no reason to do that. I, if I'm going to lose, I may as well just get this over with. Oh, yes, Beyond, I'm so sorry. Alright, I mean, maybe this will kill it. Maybe the Charizard won't kill me. I don't know. No, not a chance. Ah, oh, yes, Beyond! Yes, Beyond, I'm sorry! Ah, there it goes. That's my fourth Pokemon down, and with that, he has made a miraculous comeback and defeated my ridiculous team. Good game, sir! Good game. Ugh. No, I have no reason to save the match. I just recorded it. The, the recording's still going, right? Alright, the recording's still going. Alright, so good game, Mr. Cybertron VGC. It was a pleasure to battle against you. I know that you had a bit of bad luck in this match, but... You certainly wrecked my team, and while I'm not too happy about that, I am happy about the fact that I was able to battle against you. So good game, sir! Alright, let's get out of here, and then I will say my goodbyes for this video. Man! Man! What would have happened if that Bone Rush hit? I mean, he used Flare Blitz, so maybe he could have died, he could have died from recoil damage, and then I would have just had Espeon versus Scizor. But then he had Swords Dance, and I don't know, I probably would have... Lost that battle no matter what. Unless Bone Rush hit all five times and took down his Mega Charizard. At which case I would have had Espeon and Sylveon left. And then he would have taken down Sylveon. But then I would have had two Pokemon. And I would have been able to defeat him. I don't know. Whatever. Good game. Good game is all I'm saying. I do think that that Bone Rush costed me. But he won fair and square. Alright. So for now. That wraps up this match of Pokemon Baton. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Thank you Cybertron BGC for battling against me. And for those of you that want to stick around and watch the sped up variation of this match, then you may do so by standing around for a couple more seconds. Just like my character's doing here on this bench. So sit around, the sped up variation of this match will play in just a moment. For now, let me give this awesome man a nice... There you go. Okie dokie! That wraps up this match of Pokemon Baton, and I would like to thank you all for watching. See you all in future videos! Bye bye humans!